Uh, Grub 2. Our relationship with you is love and hate, because when you don't work, you don't really give us access to our operating systems, and we can't boot. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Grub 2 without this piece of archaic crap, but using a USB drive. Yes, this is a USB drive. First, go to Ubuntu.com and get the latest ISO. Make sure that you download the correct version of Ubuntu. So, if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit installation on your hard drive, you'll want to choose that same version for your live USB. Now you know to reinstall Grab2, you can either use a live CD or a live USB drive. But for this tutorial, I'm using UNet Bootin to create a bootable USB drive. So you first load UNet Bootin choose disk image, and find the location of the .iso that you downloaded. Select it, and then check to make sure the correct drive is selected, which is very important since it will be wiped of all of its data. Then just choose OK, and very soon you'll have an Ubuntu USB drive that's bootable. After booting to the USB drive, you'll want to load Ubuntu rather than installing it. So start your terminal and type sudo fdisk-l. And don't hesitate to go full screen in HD so you can see the commands better. From the list of devices on your system, you'll want to pick the root partition of your current Linux installation. Personally, I have a separate root and home partition, and I know that root is smaller, so I need slash dev slash sda5. Also, you should note which disk contains your boot partition. It's indicated by an asterisk. Next, we want to mount the root partition on your hard drive so that we can access it. So type sudo mount slash dev slash sda5 space slash mnt, but with your root partition in the place of slash dev slash sda5. To complete the process, Ubuntu requires us to create some hard links to other directories on the hard drive, so type the following. Moving on, the last step before installing Grub2 is to change the root directory from the one on your USB stick to the one on your system's root directory on your hard drive. So type sudo chroot space slash mnt. Now, since we've changed the root directory, the software we're about to install will go to the hard drive rather than the USB. So type grub install slash dev slash sda, making sure again that you put the disk your boot partition is instead of mine, and after the installation completes, hit control D as in delta to exit. Finally, we need to unmount all of the devices that we mounted to make sure that our system can shut down cleanly. So type in the terminal sudo space umount space slash mnt slash dev. And do the same for slash mnt slash proc slash mnt slash sys and then slash mnt. That's a mouthful. Now reboot, remove the USB drive, and your system should boot again. Thanks for checking out my channel, Nixie Does Linux. Check back next time. And we really love you, CD. Except I use you for a coaster.